Hey, I've got a problem with egg thieves on the farm. Stay tuned, we'll see what we've got. We'll be right back. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. It's like 7 a.m. in the morning. I come out to take care of the livestock. And I had some trail cams set up behind the, uh, the turkey house because there is evidence of eggs that the geese were laying. My ducks are laying eggs. My geese are laying eggs. My chicken are laying eggs but my turkeys have yet to lay eggs. So I set the trail cams up back here to see what was eating the eggs because I see the evidence. Now from a previous show, I showed you they had 25 eggs that they had. I should have collected them all, but uh, I did collect some uh, and I ended up putting them in the greenhouse because I'm going to be setting up uh, the incubators. I've got three incubators. One for turkey eggs, one for chicken eggs, and one for duck and goose eggs, because I'll be, I'll be hatching eggs and then selling the poults. And some of them I'll raise out and uh, provide to off-grid homesteads where they don't have the, uh, the heat source to be able to keep the little ones warm. So I raise them out for their benefit so they can uh, use them. I sell them for a little bit more because I have more uh, expense in raising them, but that's how I'm doing it. And the extra cost that uh, that I get from selling, raising and selling the uh, poultry and the waterfowl, it brings in income to purchase feed that I'm feeding these animals with. So let's look at the, the trail cameras. First night I set them up uh, one got knocked over by the goat, so I only, I only caught a goat neck. And the other one I set up down here, and it, a lot of rat activity. You know, we live in the wilderness. We do live on a farm, and the feed is out, so it's going to attract the uh, rats. And they chewed a hole through the back of this uh, building so they can gain free access in and out of there. So I got some things I'm going to patch that hole up with and then uh, also um, collect the eggs, just start collecting them. Um, yeah. So the next night I put the trail cams out and that was last night. I just collected them this morning and I noticed there's a possum that traveled down here. I don't know if the possum was taking eggs, but I'm sure it could. Uh, I went and looked further at the other camera yeah this is this is typically an egg thief don't like them they're great for eating mice but they eat honeybees and they decimate my bee population that's why i have my honeybee hives up high so the skunks can't get to them keep the chicken door closed at night so they can't get into the chickens getting the chicken eggs and they will I found one in the chicken coop somehow it got in and it was eating baby chicks live baby chicks it was eating them it's like oh dastardly creatures anyway yeah we had Mr. Stinky in here and he just decimated it uh, there's a few eggs there got a goose on the nest uh, that came back uh, what egg is left uh, I think there's two eggs in there so that cues me to have to do some improvements, which means I have to spend some money. And uh, don't like to do that right now this time of year. I'd rather wait till after tax season. But if I'm going to have the geese raise their own 
and the ducks raise their own, I'm gonna have to fortify my fencing. So I'm gonna go down and get some cattle panels and fix an enclosure, kind of like what I have here on the turkey pen. I'm just gonna get some cattle panels and reinforce it with chicken wire so these little creatures can't get in. Uh, rats can't even get in through there. So once I fortify it, put a cover over it, the birds will be able to raise their young ends. And I'll have separate barriers like I had. This is what my duck pens uh, had when I was raising ducks and geese over at the other homestead. This is what it looked like. I just had four pens. But I just need to go down, buy some cattle panel. I've got plenty of chicken wire left over here and over in my resource pile. So all I need to do is maybe six cattle panels. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But anyway, looks like I'll be incubating eggs inside if I want any kind of uh, goslings, ducklings, chicks and turkey poults once the turkeys start laying eggs yeah and no i well yeah the ducks the, the ducks are at least the female ducks they don't have that loud quack the males don't have a loud quack but the females i have two of them they'll start quacking really loud at night when there's a predator around so i know when the skunk comes uh by her alarming me so but I hate to shoot it because I'm afraid, you know, especially from the porch, because I'm afraid I might end up shooting one of the livestock. So I'll figure out another way to deal with that skunk. Yeah, at times the uh, ducks and geese will even lay eggs out here around the pond. Sometimes I'll find an egg floating in the pond. So they're a little bit careless of where they're laying their eggs. Well, anyway, that's it on this. I hope to have success this year. I didn't have much success last year with eggs. So I'm going to do the incubators this year. And then probably when I get some resources coming in, some funds, I'll go ahead and buy the material and uh, build my reinforcing reinforcements for my breeding pens for the uh, the ducks and the geese. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. We're a frugal homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Please stay tuned to more videos and watch my adventures at dealing with predators from the farm. Yeah, and the wilderness. Be safe. Always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye now.